So I went on Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me questions so I can record a uh, question and answer video, but I got way more questions than I thought I would. Um, and if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me here. So I'm gonna just like get right into it because I got a lot of questions. Okay, are you a virgin? Hell no. Can you give any advice or tips to people that are starting a YouTube channel based on fashion? Um, probably my biggest piece of advice is to learn how to edit videos. Um, especially with the way that YouTube is now with fashion videos, I think it's important to make, create or create a sort of style of video that, that you want to have, I guess. Um, with YouTube's algorithm and things, uh, it's important to be consistent with how you um, upload and the style of video you make. I obviously am not following that rule because I upload kind of random shit, but um, you want to create, you want to have like a style that you want to record your fashion videos, like lookbooks or whatever you have. Um, you want to upload consistently. Also, thumbnails are super important. Um, a lot of times people judge whether or not they watch a video based solely on the thumbnail. They probably, a lot of times they don't even look at the title of the video, they'll look at the thumbnail. So take those things into consideration. Sexuality. When did you go to Korea? Was the process hard? I moved to Korea. The first time I came here was 2011, but that was more like a visit. This time, now that I'm living here, I came here 2013 in the summer. Um, was the process hard? Not really, I had been here before, so. It wasn't too hard to get used to living here because I'm from California, so it's kind of the same. It's just the language and the culture is a bit different. If you could be reborn, but the condition was to be reborn as a non-human animal, what would you be? I would be a puppy because a lot of people have told me I look like a puppy. And you know, who wouldn't want to be a puppy or a cat for that matter? What's your favorite place to hang out with your friends? Uh, I like to go to cafes with friends or restaurants. I'm not really like a clubbing kind of person. Um, I'll generally, if I'm with my friends, I'll go to like bars or cafes after we had dinner at a restaurant. What is your favorite outfit and how often do you wear it? Um, I don't really have a favorite outfit right now. Um, lately I've been liking the outfit that I wore in the photo on Instagram where I asked you guys. Um, I love a fluffy hoodie. Um, the one that I was wearing was from American Apparel and I bought it recently. I've just been wearing it all the time. But I don't really have a favorite outfit. It kind of changes often, so um, who knows, I may be wearing something different like tomorrow. And even if I have a favorite outfit, I don't wear it that often because I feel like I'll be spoiling it, even though no one probably cares. But How is the life in Korea being gay? How is the life in Korea being gay? I mean, it's not really different from any other place being gay, like keeping it a secret amongst your Korean peers is different. I don't know, most of my coworkers know and my family knows. So I don't, I, don't really, I don't really have a problem with it. Like it hasn't changed the way it lives. So how good of a dancer are you? I like to think that I'm a good dancer, but that's just in my head. Uh, but the thing is I'm not really, because like I said earlier, I'm not really a clubbing person. So I don't like going to clubs. I'm kind of shy when it comes to dancing, but like at work, a lot of times I'll put on music for the kids and I'll get down, I'll get down, I'll show them my moves. Like I, I like to think I have rhythm. I, I know I'm not a bad dancer, that's all I'm gonna say. If you had to choose one beauty product for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um, maybe a cushion? Yeah, a cushion foundation or BB cream. If you weren't in Korea, where else would you? I'd probably still be in California. What's your fashion preference? What style do you like? Um, generally, anything black and white, obviously. Favorite variety show? I don't really have a favorite variety show. Um, lately I've been watching like on Pretty Rap Star 2 or Show Me The Money only because that's like what I'll flip to when I turn on the TV. Um, yeah, I don't really watch variety shows. How long did it take for you to learn basic Korean to get by on on a daily basis and how good are you now? I.e. do you struggle to understand lots of things or not? Um, it took me about a year to be able to like conversate with people via text. I'm still not very good at speaking. Uh, my speaking has gone a lot better because I practice, well, my coworkers are Korean, like I'll kind of practice with them and my friends. Um, but my typing like in Korean is way better than my speaking. I can order food, I can have conversations. Um, I didn't really learn survival career. I learned how to meet boys first. That's what I learned how to do. Um, I, like, I learned a lot through talktomeinkorean.com, right here. 
um, and a lot of like Google translating and kind of using that to sort of compare how I don't know. I used Google Translator a lot before, but that was just to kind of like for like single words to like translate. Um, it's important that I learned a lot of grammar uh, first so that I can connect the piece. I don't know. It was just a lot of trial and error, and I'm pretty happy with where I am now because I'm able to like kind of understand like TV shows now and movies a little bit. So yeah. Did it take you long to adjust to the Korean culture, even language? Um, not really. Did you ever do a fan chat on Kakao or something? Um, I don't like adding, uh, I don't want to say fans, but like subscribers or whatever on Kakao Talk. Um, that's kind of just for friends and family. But um, I did do, go on Instagram once and kind of group chat. That was actually pretty fun. That was like my first time doing it. So I might do that again in the future. Carrot, 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 all these suck. What's your favorite cafe in Korea? I don't understand how all those stuck when this question was just what my favorite cafe in Korea is. But anyway, Starbucks, I guess, um, only because that's near my work and I, that's the only cafe that I kind of go to because it's near my work. Do you like winter, fall, summer, or spring more? I prefer spring. For spring or fall in Korea can be interchangeable because honestly, in Korea, it's basically just summer and winter because it's, it gets super hot really quick and it gets super cold really quick. Like there's no really in between. So in the spring, I can kind of enjoy like decent weather where I can wear like jeans and a shirt and just be comfortable. Favorite hobbies or things to do in the past time? I like to play video games a lot. I'm on Steam. Um, if anybody plays like Dying Light or um, Left 4 Dead 2 or, or GTA 5, you can hit me up on there. Maybe we can play together. This is my Steam ID. What do you think about boyish girls? Tomboys. Um, I think they're fine. Um, I really love when a girl can look super girly. Uh, but I mean, tomboys are fine too. There have been a lot, especially Koreans. Uh, a lot of tom tomboys are like really, look like really handsome boys and it's just, it gets confusing sometimes. When I come to Korea, please do my makeup. Sure, why not? Absolute favorite thing about Korea or to do in Korea. Um, shopping. Yes, and eating. Mm. My question is, how are you today? I, I'm tired, I'm really tired. This whole week has been really stressful. Thank you for asking. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful week and you aren't too stressed. I just, I'm stressed. Uh, I hope you're very happy. Fighting, thank you. What cartoon would you be? Maybe SpongeBob? Oh no, no, maybe Squidward. A lot of people compare me to Squidward because my name and how I'm super skinny, I have long, thin legs and like a big head. <laughs> the way I talk. Could you tell us about all your past relationships and moving to Korea? Nope, that is my business, sorry. You should do a reaction video to Seventeen's music. Um, they're way more popular than I thought they are. Like, I thought they were some group that was supposed to debut like years ago but never did. And now that they came out, like, they're super popular for some reason and their like debut song is like, it's catchy I guess, but I mean it's like not mind blowing to me. But whatever, you do you Seventeen. If you were stranded on an island could only have five skincare slash makeup products, what would they be? Um, I'm assuming these could be interchangeable as long as they're five products. Um, I'd have oil cleanser. No, maybe a gel cleanser that can remove my makeup and cleanse my face. An acid toner, a moisturizer, BB cream that can double up as my sun, my, uh, sun protection even though it's not the same as sunscreen. And then um, eyebrow powder. Does it count to have eyebrow, like an eyeshadow for my eyebrows and like the brush? If not, then like a pencil is fine. If you got paid hundred thousand dollars, what and where would you spend it at? Um, I'd get my this plastic surgery that I want, and then I would get a nice apartment in Korea, like closer, like more inside Seoul, and then I would buy a shit ton of makeup and clothes. That's what. How many countries have you been to? Which one was your favorite to visit? What other countries do you want to visit? Do you, okay, let me answer one by one. one. How many countries have you been to? Um, America, Philippines, Malaysia, uh, Korea, a bunch of European countries. Uh, I guess Italy, Germany, France, uh, Switzerland. You know, the ones kind of near, from Germany to Italy, like, and the ones between kind of around there. Which I did live in Germany once, that's why I visit a lot of European countries. Um, which one was your favorite to visit? Uh, Paris. I like Paris a lot. I want to go back to Paris. Uh, do you think you'll ever move from Korea? 
Well, I, depending on my job situation, I might have to move away from Korea. Do you have a favorite Circle Lens brand? Um, the ones that I'm wearing now, I really like, and also the Princess Mimi series, that one's really, really good. Do you have a favorite website that you order from? I always, I always get my uh, lens from lensvillage.com. What is, because I feel like um, their shipping is on par, I guess, with like Pinky Paradise, but Pinky Paradise is so expensive. What is something you wish you could redo? Something I wish I could redo was signing a contract with the uh, network that I have now. They're like, they don't do shit for me. Uh, I got a job, I got a con network offer from Daya TV, the one that, uh, you know, my friend Joan is on, Ivan is on, um, Glenn Gogo is on, uh, Shin Nim is on, all the Korean, like, like the network that CGNM made, they contacted me but I can't sign with it because um, the network I have now, they decided to renew my contact without reminding me to expire, but that's kind of half my fault, but I regret signing with them. You know, the network that I like Whaley is on? Ugh. Pet peeves. Um, I hate when people are like rude to you to like try to get your attention and be friends with you. I think that's fucking stupid. Korea's dating scene, how is it? Which is the best club? One, I don't go clubbing. Just like I had said earlier, and how is it, the dating scene? In order to make it in the dating scene and being gay in Korea, you need to be Korean and super hot. And you need to be a top because everyone here is like a bottom. If you're not Korean, then you need to be a really hot with a really nice body and be a top and be able to speak Korean. So it's just a mess. What is your all time favorite cushion foundation? Um, I really like the Innisfree um, Intense Ampule. That is like a fantastic cushion foundation. What's the name of your haircut? Um, this is just a two block. Yes, it's like long. Everyone always asks about my hair. I'm trying to, so many times I've gone to my hair designer and like had him cut it like I wanted to record it, but I never did. Uh, but yeah, maybe one day I'll try to do it. But it's just a true cut. A lot of times in America when I try to do it, they'll like blend the short into the long, but no. If you get a haircut, tell them to just tie this part up, like clip it up, and then just whoosh, with like a six millimeter maybe, or depending on your hair texture, three to six millimeters, um, should be fine. Cats or dogs, dogs, how's life? Just really stressful because of work lately. Can we be friends? LOL, I don't know, I guess. Uh, wait, no, that's lame. Most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you. The most embarrassing thing to happen to me ever. I can't really think of it. How's gay life in Korea? Um, have you ever been treated differently or might have been in a situation where you had to keep it to yourself before? Um, Not really, not that I can think of. Like I said earlier, talking about how the dating scene um it's kind of difficult that's kind of like that's kind of it when it comes to being gay for me at least um i'm not korean so i don't deal with like the whole family uh friendship side of it um nearly all my friends are gay anyway so we're kind of I'm kind of like in this our own little world so i don't really have any problem with it my co-workers know they don't care um so you know there's that and i work on an american army base anyway so like it doesn't really matter how can your legs look that perfect so skinny and milky white uh, filters, first of all, um, and I shave, and um, I hate my legs. I got my mom's legs, like these little chicken legs. Um, how come you promote your Twitter on your YouTube description but you never use it? Um, I don't know, because my network told me to put all my social networks on there, but Twitter, I don't fucking get Twitter. I hate Twitter. I don't, I just don't get it. I'm sorry. Will you ever move back to California? Probably. What music have you been enjoying recently? Um, I've been listening to a lot of Dumb Blonde. Uh, there was those two white girls from Danny D. Kane, they made their own little duo and I like really like their music. I've uh, been listening to Red Velvet's album a lot, a lot of Ariana Grande. I like, she's my favorite artist. Ariana Grande, I like Cashmere Cat, yeah. How to overcome having dry hair. Um, use a lot of oil, uh, hair oil like argan oil or whatever. Um, if you haven't tried cleansing conditioners, you might want to try that. There's Wen, there's Hair One, they're conditioners that you know, they cleanse your hair rather than using a shampoo. So it's like a conditioner, but it cleanses your hair at the same time. My voice is getting so raspy. What are your favorite TV shows? Um, I love American Horror Story. Um, I really like I'm Pretty Rap Star lately. Um, I just got into it recently. Um, and I really like RuPaul's, of course, Drag Race. Love it, love it. If you have to change your first name, what would you change it to? Um, I really like the name Sam. I think that's a really cute name. Favorite shirt? 
Um, I don't really have a favorite shirt. I just wear whatever. Are you in a relationship at the moment? No, I am not. Uh, how much would it cost to visit Korea? Well, there's a plane ticket. That shit is expensive. Um, you can expect that to be maybe floating around $2,000, uh, depending on where you live. And shopping can be really expensive. A lot of people like to bulk buy things here, so save up for that. Um, $4,000 or $5,000? I, I don't know. Hello, Edward. My name is Hannah. Hi, Hannah. She's from Deutschland, Germany. My question is, what is your dream? I've always wanted to be a makeup artist, but um, you know that being that is really hard because everyone wants to be a makeup artist now. So I kind of live that through my YouTube channel, which you know I'm fine with, and I get to talk interact with you guys. At what age did you have sex for the first time, and how did it go? And were you top or bottom? Y'all are so damn thirsty. Um, I was definitely a teenager. Um, oh my god, y'all are so. Oh my god. Question of the day: How tall are you, and how much do you actually weigh? I'm five nine. Almost, basically, 5'9". And, um, how much do you weigh? None of your business. Are you planning on wanting to get full-blown plastic surgery in the future? Just asking since you get fillers. I don't think you need it, though. Oh, thank you. Um, I know I, my filler videos, I labeled them as like, oh, plastic surgery experience, but then it weren't really, it's not really plastic surgery. But, you know, I need because, you know, the views. I do want to get real surgery because, I'm you know, fillers aren't permanent. I want to, you know, make it permanent. I'm just, you know, trying to save because I'm not a very good saver. Do you like anime? I used to like it, not really anymore. What's your favorite K-pop song right now? Right now, my favorite K-pop song, maybe Dum Dum. I don't know, I've been listening to a lot of uh, American music lately, so. Thinking back to when you were 15, did you expect yourself to be where you are at the moment? Not, no, I really didn't. Um, I think 15 was around when I started YouTube, or like posting more often. To be where I am now, I really didn't expect it. Um, living here especially, like I didn't think I would ever live here, but I do. What did you want to be when you grew up as a child? I think I always said that I wanted to be an architect. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 23. Do I like Big Bang? Um, they're all right. BTS. Yeah, I like some of their songs. GOT7. I like Jackson, obviously. And Day6. I've never heard of Day6. I'm sorry. Do you want to pursue any career in particular in the future? Um, honestly, I'd want to do YouTube uh, full-time. I love doing YouTube. Have you ever sucked dick on accident? If so, how was it on accident? Yes, I have. Um, I remember Remember, I was ice skating once and I had slipped like forward and I landed with my mouth like wrapped around some man's hard phallus. Are you so cute? Answer that for me, please. Eh, ask my mommy. Do you know Glenn Gogo? I think you guys would hit it off as friends. He's another YouTuber in Korea. Um, I do know him. Uh, we talked uh, We talked on Kakao Talk before, um, but I know he's in America right now. I don't think he's coming back. Well, not to my knowledge, at least. When did you realize you were gay? Oh, uh, I've always known, always. Even in uh, elementary school, I would go around being gay. Would you ever become an idol? Probably not, because it seemed, the lifestyle seems so hard, even though, you know, the fame. I, I guess all you get out of it is the fame, but then you get the paparazzi, those crazy fans, uh, sleepless nights, um, little money. I don't know. Oh my god, I think my battery's dying. So I think I'll have to continue this in uh, part two or something. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in part two when I have battery. Bye.